I'm gonna get started on the veggies for my bread pudding. It's a sweet and savory bread pudding. And I'm gonna use two things that I like a lot, butternut squash and parsnips. So what I wanna do is just add the butternut squash right in there. Now, during Thanksgiving time, you can find peeled and cut butternut squash. And I think it's the best thing in the whole world, so I don't have to worry about it. And again, it makes making Thanksgiving meal a lot easier. So a little salt, a little pepper. And I like to get a head start on it because it needs about five minutes or so to sort of start to soften because it's not gonna cook all the way through in the oven if you don't start cooking it a little bit ahead of time. And to the butternut squash, I'm gonna add some parsnips. And so they're kind of like potatoes in the starch department, but they look and sort of have the same taste as um, carrots, so I really like them. We'll add the parsnips. Everything should be about the same size so it all cooks at the same time. So I take all the parsnips and they smell really good. Sweet. And a little salt and a little more pepper just to flavor them. So we'll cook these down for about five minutes. So my butternut squash and parsnip have been cooking for five minutes and they're nice and soft. So just turn off the heat and let it cool while I start on my challah bread for this bread pudding. It's gonna be so good. And I love using challah because it's so rich and buttery, so it really adds a lot of flavor and texture and that yumminess to the bread pudding. And I know someone in my family, my brother Igor, who's gonna be very excited about this. I don't make it every year, so I kind of switch it up, you know, make different things every year, but I know he loves this, so he's gonna be very excited about it. And I'm just gonna cut it in about one inch cubes. And if you can't find challah bread, you can always use brioche or sourdough bread, or even just white, sliced white bread. No biggie. All right, so time for the custard. We need eight eggs to make this nice and rich. All right, last egg. All righty, so now I'm just gonna break up my egg yolks, give it a quick little whisk. So now time for a little cream. Grab my measuring cup, we're gonna need three cups of heavy cream. Now you can't cut quarters with this. It's gotta be the rich cream. It just gives the bread pudding a whole different flavor. Three cups of heavy cream, and it's Thanksgiving so you gotta go all out, you just do. A little bit of brandy, about three quarters of a cup of brandy. And I want each dish to kind of stand out on its own. And the brandy makes it special and it makes it very festive and very holiday-like. And a quarter cup of vegetable oil. And you need a little vegetable oil just to kind of keep everything um, nice and moist. So we're done with that. Now, just give it a quick little mix and we're gonna add some brown sugar three tablespoons of brown sugar we want that nice sweetness of the brown sugar right in there two and three we're done with that get rid of those give it a quick little whisk and now to really make it holiday, flavored and a wonderful aroma to everything, some ground cinnamon. Two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. And I love cinnamon. It's very Thanksgiving-ish. And I know it sounds like a lot, but really and truly, it goes so well with the butternut squash and the parsnip. It's super yummy. So we're just gonna give this a quick little mix. I love the smell of cinnamon. Just mix that all together and a little bit of thyme, just a few leaves of thyme. It's really just for a little bit of color and some fresh flavor, and it's nice and hearty, so I think it's very much part of the Thanksgiving flavors. It smells nice and lemony, and a little bit goes a long way with the thyme, so just need a little bit. All right, so now, take the bread, and we just pour the custard right over the bread. Nice, get it all in there. Go. And then I just kind of toss it all together. 
Grab the spoons and the bread slowly absorbs the custard. And you wanna be really gentle because I wanna have it nice and chunky. I mean, that's what to me bread pudding is all about, the nice big chunks of bread. And I wanna add the parsnip and the butternut squash that's cooled. And again, give it a quick little toss just to make sure that all the veggies get mixed into the custard. Oh my goodness, they're all gonna love this. It's gonna be so good. So now, I grab my baking dish, and I've already buttered the dish. And put that in there, and pour the whole mixture into the baking pan. There we go. And I put the baking pan on top of a baking sheet. That way, if anything drips in the oven while it's baking, this catches it, my oven is nice and clean. Spread it out. We're gonna bake this at 400 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes until the top is nice and golden brown. 